Hi guys, this is Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So this is the ninth video of our SQL tutorial series and in the last video we discussed about the data types in SQL. And in today's video you will get to know how you can create database and table and you can also create a table from another table. And not only this, in the end of this video I will also share some interview questions and some SQL practice questions. So without any delay let's start the discussion. So guys here we have to use create command which is a ddl command and it is used to create a database or a table in that database and when we create a table then at that time we also have to specify its structure which includes the name of the column, data type of the column, size of the data and so on. So now let's first create a database. So this is the general syntax to create a database. So for this you have to write the keyword create database and after that you have to write the name of the database so you can give any name to your database but it should be meaningful for example you can give the name of any company or you can give the name of any website or any college and so on so here i will create a database with the name codera so let's execute this query in the mysql workbench or you can also use the mysql command line so to execute this query you have to select this complete query and click this option which will execute your query or you can simply press control plus enter button. So this will also execute your query. So here you can see that our query is executed successfully and a new database is created. So to check our database is created or not just simply refresh the schemas. So here you can see our database is created. And guys one more thing is that you can't create two databases with the same name in one database management system. That means your database name must be unique. So now to check that our database is created or not you can also do one more thing. You can execute the command show databases. This command will display the list of all the database present in the database management system. So let's see our database is created or not with this command. So let's execute this query. So with this query you can see all the database present in this database management system. Here you can see that our database code era is also present in this list. So guys this is very easy command. And suppose if you want to delete this created database then you have to use drop command. So you have to write drop database and then the name of the database. So in our case our query will be like drop database and then we will write the name of our database which is codera and then semicolon so now let's execute this query so here you can see in the output that our database is dropped successfully and here you can also check that the codera schema is not present and again let's execute this show command so here you can see that the code error database is not present in the list. But for the further query execution again I have to create the database. So let's again create our database. So I will write create database in the name of our database which is code error. So here you can see our database is created. Or you can also check it with the show command. So now after creating a database we will create a table but before that we have to select a database in which we want to create a table. We have to do so because in a database management system we have more than one database. So that's why we have to select any one database before we start working with it. So for this we have to write use command. So write use keyword followed by the name of the database. And our query will be like use code era. So let's execute this query. So now you can see in the schema section our database is highlighted. That means our active database is code era. And whatever action we will perform will be inside the code era database. Now let's create a table inside the database. So for creating a table this is the general syntax. So to create a table we have to write the keyword create table and then write the name of the table. 
after that we have to define the structure of the table inside the parenthesis so inside this parenthesis you have to write the name of the columns its data type or any constraints which is optional and we have already discussed about the data type in the last video and in the upcoming video we will also discuss about the constraint in detail so guys you can define any number of column according to your requirement so now here are some points that you should keep in your mind while creating a table so the first is in one database we cannot create two tables with the same name that means the table name must be unique and you can't use keywords as the table or database name and the name and the definition of the table columns must be separated by the commas and whenever you create a table you should follow some naming convention for the table and column name so try to use lower case for table and column names and to separate the words in table name you can use the camel case letters or you can also use the underscore for example test table or test underscore table and to separate the words in column name you can use the underscore for example start underscore date and all the column name within a table must be unique and always create a primary key whenever you create a table and if you don't know about the primary key then don't worry in the upcoming video we will discuss in detail about the primary key and guys in sql there are not any strict rules for the naming convention like the programming languages but it is a good practice to follow the naming convention and it may differ from organization to organization so now let's create one table in codera database so now the name of the table is employee in which i have defined five columns so the first is id which is integer and id is also the primary key which is a constraint so whenever you create a table you must define a column as primary key and then the next column is name which is where care and its size is 50 that means if your input value exceeds the character more than 50 then it will give you some error and on this column i have also set not null constraint which means this column cannot be null you have to give some value to this column after that i have also created three more column which is salary department and date of birth so now let's execute this query so let's execute our command so guys our table is created so to check that our table is created or not there is one command which is show command so you have to write show tables and then execute this command so here you can see it will give you the list of the table present in that database so there is only one table we created in the codera database which is employee table so this is how you can create a table and there is one more command which is describe or in short you can write it desc so this command will show you the structure of the table so here the structure of the table include column name data type of the column names size of data default value for each column constraint of the columns null values allowed or not allowed for each column and guys we can also create the table from the another table which is already exist in our database so we can create it in three ways which are by copying all the columns from the another table by copying selected columns from the another table or by copying selected rows from the another table so the first is by copying all the columns from the another table so guys for this we have to use select command and if you don't know anything about the select command then don't worry we will cover this command in the upcoming videos so we will write create table emp as select star from employee so guys here this query will create a new table with the name emp which will be the exact copy of the employee table because here in select query we are using star so it will fetch all the data and the structure from the employee table using the select statement and then it will create a new table called emp so let's execute this query so now let's execute it so our table is created so for confirming that the emp is exact copy of employee or not let's check its structure so i will write desc emp which is the name of our new table and i will execute this query so here you can see 
that the emp table is the exact copy of the employee table so in this way you can also create a table and guys right now we don't have any data in our table but in case of available data this command will also copy the data in the new table and now suppose if you want only two columns in the new table from the employee table so in that case you can use this query so here we will select only those column which we want to copy in a new table so let's execute this query so our table is created with the name emp1 so now let's check its structure so we will write desc emp1 and then enter so guys here you can see this time it will copy only two columns which is id and name because here we have selected only two columns so in this way you can also create the table with the particular columns so now let's check out the third way to create a new table which is by copying selected rows from the another table so for here we have to use where clause with the select statement so this query will create a new table emp2 from the employee table where the value of id will be 102 so it will only copy those row which will satisfy this where condition so guys here i have fed some data into the employee table and here are the data i have inserted this data so that i can show you how you can execute those queries but guys if you don't know how to insert the data then you have to watch the next video where i will show you the insert command so now let's get back to our create command so i will execute this query so in this case it should copy only one row where the id is 102 so let's see it happen or not so our table is created so now let's check its structure so desc emp2 so its structure is same as employee table because here we have selected all the columns now let's see the data of this table so for this i will write the select command so select star from emp2 and then we will execute it so you can see it has copied only one row with the id 102 so in this way you can also copy some particular rows which satisfied the where condition so guys all these are the way to create a new table from the another table so i hope you understand this tutorial and now here we have some interview questions based on the create statement so interviewer can ask you to create a table from another table without copying any values from the old table or he can ask you create a table named employee with five columns id name department salary and age So try to solve these queries, and I have also provided some SQL queries for practice. So for the answer of these interview questions and those practice questions, you have to check out the link in the description box. So that's all about this video, and I hope you like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.